Okay, I'm doing a really quick reading. I was going to post them as cards, and I thought, I just don't have time. So it's important that you guys get the messages. So this is what came out. The chariot, seven of water, six of air, seven, seven, six. Okay, first message, seven, seven, six. Seven is you're on the right path, and it will exceed your expectations. Seven, twice we get. And then six is don't be so worried about material concerns, okay? Seven, seven, six is you're doing everything right to, pro to provide for yourself and for your loved ones. So give yourself a pat on the back. Congratulations. Good job. Okay, first what we see is the chariot. Sorry, let me turn the radio off. It's annoying. You need to control things. You're in a chariot. Things could get out of control. You're looking at the white horse and the, and, and, the, and, and the black horse, the dark and the light within, right, or without, or within the situation. If you let, right now he's reigning in the dark horse. See that? He's giving the white horse lead. So this is your shadow. This is your shadow that's holding you back. You have to have control over this charity. You're going to lose control. If you let go of the horses, they're going to run wild. If you pull them back, they're going to balk, right? This is an achievement. This, the chariot is always about forward movement. It's also about moving. You may be moving. But right now, it's about self-discipline. It's about willpower. It's about being in the public eye. Because seven, you're on the right path, and it will exceed your expectations. Anytime we see the chariot, we, we know it's forward movement. However, seven talks about disturbances as well. So you're going to have to deal with whatever's going on. It's a, you, you've maybe just come out of a challenging situation, or you're still trying to balance your way through it. And whatever you've done to handle the situation, you've gotten respect for it. Spirit is giving you respect. So right now, it's important to stay grounded, show the self-control, show the determination to get forward, to go the distance, be very kind, but firm. We talked about in our weekly reading that we could be compassionate, but stand our ground. So it's also about a, maybe a, all of a sudden, a sudden move forward quickly. Promotion, again, travel. Seven of water, what do you need to do? Okay, there's a complex decision. What's going on? How do I handle the situation? It's an emotional situation because it's water. So there's disturbance in the water, right? There's disturbance in your emotional waters or the emotional waters of those around you. And you need to do something about it. So Spirit's telling you, stop procrastinating. We've been doing a lot of that, getting the word now, not tomorrow, not yesterday, now. A complete complex decision that you need to deal with. So stop the procrastination. Now look at the colors of the cards. These are chakra colors and they, own diff they mean different things. Which, not, which color were you drawn towards first? Red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue? I got green. Okay, so the meanings are red is your home, money, and security. Orange means creativity and addictions and sexuality. Yellow means power and control. Green means love and healing. So there's a complex decision from my life about love and healing. So healing is what I can do about, you know, I, I, I'll send the love out, but it's, I'm not in a relationship, so it's about healing, and I'm not procrastinating. It talks about visions and psychic abilities. Now, always left over, but by me, for some strange, bizarre reason, but always in there, is if you've noticed, to the left at the top, there's purple. The whole background is purple. So if you went straight to that, that's about psychic abilities I mean, the dark blue, I'm sorry, is about visions and psychic abilities. Light blue is about communication and truth-telling. Sorry, I didn't finish speaking. Um, so the purple is about spirituality. So what they want you to do is get clear, right? Focus for this one as well. Avoid unrealistic expectations. Don't get caught in your emotional waters. You might have so many options in front of you, you're, get, you're getting confused. Don't allow your imagination to run wild with you. See the shark coming around? It's not real. It's pretend. It's, 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 it's a false confusion. You could have addictions. The cups are full. Are they full of alcohol? Six of air. Six again. Here we see this horse moving forward away from the group. Things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation. Again, like the chariot. Someone's taking a trip. Now, are you taking a trip over your emotional waters or are you literally moving somewhere? Because twice we've seen the chariot. Movement. Whatever it is, it's about moving forward. So air represents communication. And we've already gotten speak, right? If there's something that you need to speak up about, Spirit's telling you not yesterday, now. Not tomorrow, now. So 
you've come through a challenging situation, you still have some complex decision that you need to figure out. You've got full cups. Are they full of good stuff? Or are they full of bad stuff? Is that an imaginary shark? Are you creating a situation better than it is? Do you have to protect yourself? Are you, you need to get away from these people in the back. That's definitely what's going on. So the worst is behind you. The light's in front of you. The water's moving forward in this boat. You're in the boat. And you're not, you don't have any oars. So it's the winds of change that are pushing you forward. Spirit's pushing you because it's a favorable wind. See the wind? That's what's moving this boat forward. So your ship's moving forward. You're working in alignment with Spirit and they're taking you. So if you have not done this, Spirit says it's the time. This is the time to get in that boat. If To make whatever changes they are, your career, your home, the way you're looking at things, whatever it is. It's the end of depression, the end of illness, maybe it's the end of addictive issues, right? There was addiction here, you overcome it, and it's, it's the end of an addiction. Whether that be codependency, an addiction of some sort of your own, or that of another and you are codependent on them. But it's leaving that. It could be, it could be a, a depression, whatever it is. It's definitely resolution of a conflict. Now, resolution of the conflict doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to agree with you. I resolve to move away. I resolve to leave this behind in peace. That's my resolution. We did get family healing today, so there could be a positive resolution of a conflict. Maybe there was a conflict that was brought about because of alcoholism. As well as healing. Right now, my other reading is popping up. All right, so there's your messages. Gotta go.